Yeah, it's gonna be a short afternoon little quick video this morning uh actually last night i got on craigslist and i found this uh wonderful rockwall delta radio drill tree now what i'm not gonna clean this up yet this is the way we found that this morning and it went over about 60 miles or less enough from where i live here in boyd and picked this up it's kind of a unique piece and uh, when i first saw this thing uh, i was looking for another delta motor and uh, delta rockwall they always uh, the 165 chassis have the same bolt patterns and uh, let me let me do a little turning here now this is a unique piece. I have never seen one of these. Didn't know they even existed. Of course that telescopes out and the head twist, uh, you know, uh, 45 degrees each way. Could do 90, uh, depending on, you know, what the use is. But uh, yeah, the motor is pristine. And uh, for 1960, setting in a warehouse this thing is uh, to me is pristine got a little bit of surface rust removed gonna have to polish everything check it out but uh that uh 1939 motor that's up there now on the 44 delta belongs over here on the uh, scroll saw I have, like I said in the last video, I changed my mind. I'm not gonna uh, distort from uh, its vintage era by putting on a treadmill motor. Now we're about 75% oh, plus finished on this. The bed is sitting over here. All the parts ready to put back on. But it just irked me to not give grandpa's old Delta found out it was 1939 because of the casting, not only in the arm, but in the bed and the parts and the cover. I thought it was in the 50s. Now, I had researched and researched, but uh, one of my dear uh, subscribers that had redone one of these, his was the same, and of course his was blue and uh, I've give him shout outs before when he restored that on pictures. But this saw deserves that motor. And yes, I'm gonna take it apart and detail it out even after you saw the previous videos. You guys follow me, I put new uh, 202 bearings in it. It is absolutely quiet as a pin. It's got to go back over here. Now, I'm just uh, showing you another glimpse of the uh, table. And uh, of course, we talked about removing this, not only to mount that motor, but to uh, drill that oil plug up underneath here through the 200-year-old uh, piece of oak so I could remove it uh, real easy and every 100 hours service out the uh, transmission oil. But this was a Jim Dandy find off of Craigslist. You guys uh, probably love Craigslist and, and uh, Facebook, but uh, I was really shocked. Let me turn this around. Let's get it over here. Now that's only got a uh, nine by nine table. You know, and uh, of course this is a bench top model. I have not even started to clean this up yet. Take off with a little bit of service rust, but this is unique. Right now, she is running on the lowest speed. Let's turn her on. So right now we're at about 300 RPM. And uh, the way the belts are set up here, I'm running about uh, 450 RPM on this one and also way over there to the drill tree. But uh, learning a whole lot of uh, about pulleys 
and uh, how to uh, manage my speeds. You can hear how quiet this thing is. Super quiet. We'll redo uh, the electrical part of it and uh, put a switch instead of off of a uh, you know commercial grade box, but it works great. Not gonna go the trouble to go through all the speeds, but what a unique piece. Yeah. One minute, please. I gotta stop the camera. Being radial, now, I'm not going to run it out any further than that. You know, right now she's about balance point. But uh, if, whether it be bench top or it be mounted to, uh, you know, quick bolts to the concrete. And yes, we could always extend this shaft way up. Uh, it is Schedule 80 uh, pipe. Don't know, I hadn't run a file across it. Maybe, uh, you know, tool steel. But it's unique in its uh, features. Also lets me have uh, sanding uh, drum features with it, engraving. So anybody's got one of these uh, 11280 uh, Rockwall Delta radial drill trees, by all means, share your pictures, share your info, how you love it, how you hate it. And uh, no, I didn't have a guard up here. And I don't think it's necessary to have a guard. You know, if the belt breaks, uh, maybe it'll slap me in the jaw, but you know, I got good old tough jaws. Here's one good look at it. Uh, absolutely pristine. And I'm gonna give a shout out to the gentleman that uh, made this available to me over in Grapevine. And uh, Keith, uh, if you're watching the videos, uh, Bears Rush, I really appreciate your time this morning, helping us load it, uh, your courtesy. And, uh, you know, we just can't thank you enough. I'm going to go back. He's got an older Craftsman drill press that runs from uh, 300 to 4,200 RPM. And we're going to purchase it. But uh, that's going to be a, another day. And uh, this is gonna be very, very useful, not only for the motor, but uh, that Delta 44, I don't think she's even gonna notice it's got a brand new motor on it. But I gotta have that uh, 39 motor with the outside outboard uh, start capacitor on the Delta to make it uh, hold its vintage value. Bears Rod Shop, we hope you uh, guys will follow. This is just a short, probably part, uh, we don't even call it part eight. It's just a wonderful day in the shop, but part eight would be about the scroll saw and finding this motor and this drill, uh, radial drill this afternoon that will allow us to uh, put this motor up here and take the other motor and install it where it belongs. Bears Rod Shop, we're out.